Hello everyone, this is Frank DeMora. Today's November the 29th, 2011. If you just happen to stumble on my YouTube channel, I'd like to invite you to go to my website, BibleProphecyMan.com. And when you're there, you can scroll down and you'll see my book cover. And right below it is a link. You can click that link right now and you can download this documentary on Bible prophecy and current events for free. Now this is a free ministry and I'll never ask you for anything for the ministry. I leave that up to the Lord. And uh, this way you'll know that there is somebody out there who doesn't want anything from you except to come to the knowledge of our Savior Jesus Christ. Now, one of the prophecies that I would like to discuss with you today uh, just happens uh, to, to come out of a uh, economic review, review, review journal that I was reading today. I just happened to stumble on this. I was looking for one of the posts that I had written previously, and I came across uh, someone who wrote in the Economic Review Journal about something that I wrote about previously and had to do with Daniel's uh, vision in the Old Testament. You see what they wrote right here. It says, Frank DeMora sees connection between the Word of God and the current events. And they used Daniel uh, chapter 2 verses 41 through 43. Now in this I'll read this for you. Instead of going to my web, my own website, I'll just read what they wrote about what I said. It says, Frank DeMora sees connection between the Word of God and the current events and writes that Daniel 2, 41 through 43 point out the following. Whereas you saw the feet and the toes partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. Yet the strength of the iron shall be in it just as you saw the iron mixed with uh, ceramic clay and as the toes of the feet were partly of iron and partly clay so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile as you saw iron mixed with ceramic clay they will mingle with the seed of men but they will not get this they will not adhere to one another just as iron does not mix with clay as noted in the above scripture this kingdom will not hold together all of these things I listed are the exact same things we are seeing happening in the revived Roman Empire now here is a news today concerning the possible breakup of the Eurozone nations the headline to the report is entitled Eurozone crisis could rip EU apart now this is what he wrote, and I don't believe that there's a date on here, but you can go to my website. You can just Google if you wanted to, Daniel uh, chapter 2 verse 41 through 43 and Frank DeMore and it would come up. But let me just show you what is happening uh, with the European Union because the European Union is the western leg of the revived Roman Empire. They are the same nations that used to be in the old Roman Empire. They've come together again. They have solidified. They've gotten their own constitution that was signed back in 2009. But now they're in trouble and if we see in the Word of God that this last world empire that really it hasn't developed yet fully because the Antichrist hasn't been given authority. Um, we need to see a few things. And one of the things that I wanted to point out is that in the scriptures we see Daniel uh, tells us that there will be ten kings that will be giving uh, a power over to this Antichrist. We see this also from Jesus in the book of Revelation where he said ten kings will give all their power and authority over to this man. So is it possible that the breakup of the European Union, because it tells us here that the kingdom will be divided, 
And it also says that it's not going to adhere, as you can see right here. So we could see a, uh, a breakup and then possibly a reforming of the, some of the nations that will end up being 10 nations uh, that will end up giving all their power over to the Antichrist. Now when we look at, let's take a look at some of the articles today. Let's switch over to this side. And you'll see, you'll see the importance of the of the news here. Now, this was a couple days ago, but it's still applicable. It says the Euro, eurozone really has only days to avoid collapse. In virtually all the debates about the eurozone I have been engaged in, someone usually makes the point that it is only when things get bad enough that the politicians finally act. Euro bond debt um, molestation, quantitative easing, whatever. I'm not so sure. The argument ignores the problem of acute collective action. The last week the crisis reached a new quantitative stage with the spectacular flop of the German bond auction and the alarming rise of the short-term rates in Spain and Italy, the government bond market across the Eurozone has, let me move this down here, excuse me, has ceased to function. The banking sector too is broken. Important parts of the Eurozone economy are cut off from credit. The Eurozone is now subject to a run by the global investors and a quiet bank run among its citizens so in my book I've warned uh, one of the things that you should be looking for are bank runs in the last days because the world is headed towards a uh, a major depression and it's going to be worse than the first depression uh, this is one of the ways that I believe that the Antichrist is going to take the center stage when the world goes into shock because they're in economic chaos. Then this man will uh, have the answers or appear to have the answers. One of his functions will be obviously if he's giving complete control of the world. The only way that that really can happen is if the world is in such dire straits and they're calling for somebody to straighten out, and then he could step out on the stage. We know that this is going to be the case because Revelation chapter 13 tells us uh, in verses 16 through 17 that this man is going to have, uh, unless you can buy, uh, you have his mark or the number of his name you're not going to be able to buy anything and you're not going to be able to sell anything so just by the scripture alone in Revelation we, we know that he'll have control of the economic situation of the world let me go on it says this massive erosion of trust has also destroyed the main plank of the rescue strategy the European financial stability facility derives its firepower power from the uh, guarantees of the stockholders as the crisis has spread to France, Belgium, and the Netherlands and Austria, the EFSF itself is affected by the contagious spread of the disease. Unless something very drastic happens, the Eurozone could break up very soon. Now, look at I, I really believe that we're going to see th this take place because of what we see in uh, the scripture from. Daniel, obviously, Daniel 2, verses 41 through 43. Now, let me go and give you a little bit more information because they're really worried about what's going on in Europe. And again, this is the western leg of the old Roman Empire, so I really believe that they will not adhere and they will try to make some arrangements, and it could end up being... Uh, some of the nations staying together and if that happens just look to see if it's a ten nation confederacy that comes out of this. It says the collapse of the euro could send the world's advanced economies into a severe recession dragging emerging markets with them into the mire. The Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development warned on Monday. 
So th there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of fear being generated out of Europe now that could spread worldwide. And essentially, this is what I've been warning about, based on what I know from Scripture. It says the Paris-based think tank slashed the forecast for growth among the 34 members from 2.3 half a year ago to 1.6 percent, with Europe dramatically downgraded to 2 percent to just 0.2 percent because of the unsolved sovereign debt crisis. Now it goes on to talk about this chief economist here made plan that the, the body's latest six-month economic outlook uh, that the greatest threat to the global global economic health comes from the Eurozone rather than from the tax and spend gridlock of the US Congress. So I really believe that you know if the Lord shows us in the last days that there was going to be a revived Roman Empire and we're seeing the revived Roman Empire through the European Union at least the western leg of the old Roman Empire. Now there are there is another section of the old Roman Empire which is the eastern side those are the Islamic nations but right now let's take a look at the, what is happening so if they're telling us that there's going to be a global economic uh, problem based on this Eurozone and if it does come to pass where there is a uh, breakup well then we know uh, for sure again we should really Keep your eyes on what Daniel was shown by God about this uh, this power not holding together. Now, please keep in mind one last thing. In the scriptures, it says that there's some that are obviously divided, and we see that within this modern-day Roman Empire. But we also see that some are strong. You see, this is partly strong and partly fragile. Well, one of the strongest nations is Germany, and that's why they're trying to get the Germans to hold up and to take the lead in trying to restore the, uh, the Eurozone and get rid of this debt crisis. And uh, France is one of the other uh, strong nations. And then you have these partly fragile nations like were mentioned before in the article, like France, Spain, uh, and uh, obviously Greece. So let's pay attention to what the word says and watch the news because when, if the European Union goes under, uh, we will see the last day's birth pain speed up like we've never seen before, I can tell you that.